Welcome back to Chaos Collectibles. All right, so I just got home from work. I've been gone for two days now. Left yesterday morning at like four o'clock in the morning and I just finally got home. So um, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, lately I have gotten almost an overwhelming response, um, whether it be through Instagram, Facebook, whatever the case may be. I gotta say I'm completely floored. Um, wasn't expecting something like this to happen, but uh, I appreciate all the feedback that I get regarding my custom figures. Um, didn't realize so many people like them as much as they do. Which brings me to this. Um, I have gotten about half a dozen requests for me to make figures for people. Not just figures, but the one in particular that I just did the other day, the Thalsa Doom. Now, that figure took a lot of work. I bet I probably have about 30 hours into that thing, um, especially with all the sculpting. So you have the mask. I, I wish I would have got the figure, but the mask is separated right here. And to sculpt that with clay and not have anything there holding it in place that every time I went to go um, try to shape it, it would start bending on me. It was, it was a real pain in the ass, and that part of the mask took a lot of work because there was no there was no rigidity to that part. Um, and then we go into the blades. I don't have like hundreds and hundreds of Zolo World knives that I can, you know, do this stuff with. And everything was hand sculpted, so I'd have to go through and do all this stuff. Um, so I had to turn some people down, unfortunately. So that's gonna bring me to this in just a second. Um, over the last, I'd say since the first of the year, end of December, I have had probably 20 people reach out to me wanting me to make them custom figures. Um, so I'm going to go into a little bit of why I do not do commission figures. Um, the first one is time. I work two jobs, so I'm putting in 70 hours, 70 to 75 hours, just Monday through Friday. I get, If I'm lucky, I get a Tuesday night off and I might get a Friday night off. In many cases, I'm just too burnt out by Friday night to be able to do any work. By then I'm tired, I just wanna sit down and just chill. Um, so that's the biggest hurdle that I have, you know, along with all the other projects that I have in mind that I wanna do. Um, the next thing is, I also work Saturdays sometimes too. I work one Saturday a month. So if you take that into consideration, like I said, I work a lot, I work in Aston. Um, I'm on the road a lot. I travel all over. I could be here. I could drive six hours in one direction on a day like I did yesterday. And I wanted to come home last night, but I wasn't able to. I made a three hour drive to the halfway point and I didn't even get to the hotel until almost eight o'clock and had to do all my paperwork. So that's kind of the lifestyle that I live. Um, but it allows me to do these videos. It allows me to collect. You know, it allows me to keep things afloat on the home front. But I try not to mix my personal life with what we have going on here. Work, all that stuff. I try to keep things separated, right? They're different worlds. They shouldn't intermingle. So the next thing is PayPal goods and services. So if I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy parts to make this, parts to make that, parts to make this, parts to make that. I mean, I could be spending anywhere from 30, 40, 50, $100 just in parts. And then you tell somebody, hey, this figure is going to be 200 bucks. Then they're going to get pretty mad, right? And they probably won't buy it. So that's another thing, right? But not even just that. Say someone agrees to paying whatever it is for the, for the cost of the figure. Okay. Now it's goods and services I have to deal with, which is why I quit selling on eBay. Now they consider me a business. Now I have to pay taxes on that, pay 25%, go into all this stuff with, okay, I, I bought this off eBay for this much, this for this much, pay my accountant that much more money to try to figure out all this extra stuff. Is it even worth my time to go through all that extra trouble? I don't think it is. So that's just my own personal, you know, reasons why I don't do that. And another thing is, you know, like as I'm an artist, you want your art to be fun. You want to do things because you're excited about doing them and you don't want it to become work. For me, it's an escape from work. It's something that I really enjoy to do. 
And trust me, if I could do this as work and crank out all these figures and sell them to people all the time, I'd do it. But I know that's not going to pay my bills. So you want it to be fun. You don't want it to be a job, you know, because I work enough. It's, it's still working, but it's, it's fun for me to do. So I don't want it to turn into that. You know, you want to keep things fresh. You want to keep things exciting, right? So that is the reason why I don't do commissions. Can that change in the future? It's possible. Is it likely? Mm, probably not. I have sold off a couple customs in the past. Figures that I've made. I've put them up on the Realm of Underworld page. I've sold some on eBay. Just because I needed some funds for different reasons. Could that happen in the future? Maybe. But unless I absolutely have to, again, you're dealing with, you know, getting taxed on all that income through PayPal and stuff like that. And that's just, that's a pain, you know. So then we're going to move on to something else here. So I also have people reach out to me asking me how I do certain things. I try to do my best to explain these things on the videos. Um, I know it's kind of hard to do. I can't explain things in text, you know. And the best thing maybe sometimes is visual I've tried doing a couple videos here and there where I'm doing stuff and, you know, because I'm so busy, I'm not a, a video editor. I've never edited a video in my life. I would have to learn how to do that stuff, take the time to learn it, take the time to do it, and I just don't have time for it. I, again, I don't want it to become a job. I do these videos because they're fun for me. Um... So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, so what am I going to do maybe in the future to work around that so you guys aren't sitting there watching this boring video of me grinding on stuff and this and that. So it just kind of hit me like a ton of bricks the other day. I could probably do some shorts, you know, little clip like 30 seconds of me doing something, whether it's working with a piece of clay and or you know, um, grinding something down or making things fit together or maybe some paint techniques or something like that. Just something really quick, little short, boom, on to the next one. So that's something that I think I might do. Um, I think that may be more beneficial and, you know, it may get more views that way from people who want to learn it instead of just watching like a, a you know, four minute grinding video, okay? So that's just some of the ideas that I have coming up in the future. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to hop on here, kind of go over that real quick. I did get some other stuff in the mail for customs just recently. Um, this video is kind of running on. Normally my videos are less than seven minutes, but this one's going to be eight. But I bought a bunch of Masters of the Universe figures. And I also bought another head. I wasn't going to show it to you, but I think I will. Um, I have one more snake man in the works, or at least in the works up here, not physically in the works, because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to do the Thalsa Doom character. Um, speaking of, I'll be right back. All right. So that Thalsa Doom character, I didn't know if I wanted to do the, the Thalsa Doom in the battle gear, or if I wanted to do Thalsa Doom, you know, in the robe as the, the temple, the demonic temple um, priest, right? So I decided I did the one that I like better. Um, but I almost used this guy here. I actually bought this guy and he cost me quite a bit of money. But I was going to use this for my Thalsa Doom head and then just sculpt everything around it. But I didn't end up doing that. In fact... This is the first time I've ever gotten one of these straight legged Remco figures before. And I tell you what, I don't have a Remco here at the moment, but compared to a Masters of the Universe figure or anything, this dude is a flipping giant. This dude is a giant. So I guess if I want to make a, a, a giant figure, maybe Bata, right? Or something along those lines for Conan or just, you know, a big giant dude, because this guy just towers over the rest of the AWA figures. If he's like this to a Masters of the Universe, it's going to be comparable. Giant. But this is Abdullah the Butcher. This is not a cheap figure at all. So, which brings me back to the customs. You know, you buy something like this, cost you 40 bucks. 
you buy the next thing, 20 bucks, the next thing, 30 bucks, whatever. I mean, you can have, it racks up pretty quick, especially when you try to use good figures. This figure's in excellent shape. It's not beat up or anything. I make my customs out of good figures. I don't use loose, beat up figures when I make my stuff. So yeah, that was just an idea that I had, threw it to the wayside. Um, but I did end up picking this up because I wanted to make, maybe I thought about making a transformation. Maybe a Thulsa Doom transformation snake figure. So I got this Masters of the Universe Classics head on eBay. This thing cost me, I want to say about 30 bucks by the time I got it shipped. So yeah, see what I mean about customizing, costing some money. So this is this one here. And I thought about maybe making the Thulsa Doom transformation halfway through into this, or maybe I'll just make another Snake Man. I mean, I did get this Rattler figure. I did cut the neck off this thing. I can angle that back and put this head on here and I could have the tallest flipping snake I have yet. So I still have a couple ideas as far as that goes in the works. I'll figure it out as I go. So yeah, there is that. I also got these. Since I got that lot of Masters of the Universe figures, I did get some of these look almost like dog bone rubber bands for the legs. So I'm going to give it a shot, see how much of a pain in the ass. It looks like a serious pain in the ass, but I do want to see if I can replace some leg bands on some of those figures. So I just got these as well. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here, um, go over the little um, deal regarding why I don't really do commissions and uh, just kind of show you some of the ideas that I had in the works. But yeah, we're going on 12 minutes, folks. So enough of that. So all right, thanks again as always for tuning in. I hope you all have an awesome day. Until next time. Woo!